Welcome to this DairyNet video tutorial. This tutorial explains the dashboard and the user interface of DairyNet. The dashboard is the landing page of DairyNet. Through a composition of overviews and evaluations, so-called widgets, the dashboard can be set up individually for each farm area. The dashboard shows a farm overview that includes information about upcoming animal actions in the calendar, performance overviews of the milking robots, and overview lists of the animal performance among other information. If you want to edit the dashboard, you can activate the editing mode of the dashboard via the pencil symbol Customize Dashboard. Widgets can then be added. For this purpose, a selection of available widgets opens in an additional window with a brief description of the respective contents. In this example, the widget Milk Yield is selected and added to the dashboard. The added widgets appear at the bottom of the dashboard. The widgets can be positioned as desired. In order for additional widgets to remain visible, the dashboard must be saved. The widget animal status shows the distribution of the animal status of all female animals by means of a pie chart. By clicking on a segment, the cattle list for that section opens. The widget calving's last days displays statistics of the number of all calvings in the last 7 or 30 days. The pie chart is grouped into male, female, and stillbirths. The widget Milk Yield shows the last daily averages of milk quantity in relation to lactation days for all cows or filtered by a milking group. Self-created animal selections can be linked in the dashboard using Observed Animal Choices widget. The number of animals currently on the animal choice is displayed on the dashboard. By setting limit values, the color ranges for red, yellow, and green can be defined. Consequently, the exceeding of limit values become directly visible. This example takes a closer look at the cell count alarm. By clicking on this animal choice, a cattle list filtered by parameters opens. This list contains information on the last cell count alarms of individual animals. The column contents of the list can be individually defined and sorted. This applies to all available animal choices. The animal action calendar can be displayed in an abbreviated view in the dashboard in order to have an overview of the planned animal actions of today. Furthermore, three widgets on milk yield parameters are available for the dashboard. These include key figures on milk yield, milk processes data, and milk quality. In these widgets, a target value can be defined for each key figure as well as the limit values for the colored areas. To define the target values, the Customize Dashboard button must be used. By clicking on the pencil symbol, the settings for limit values open. The individual areas are defined according to the traffic light system. The limits of the individual areas can be set specifically for each milking parameter. The settings made are activated by clicking the Save button. Setting value parameters offers the opportunity to adapt the widget Milk Productivity KPIs individually to farm-specific key figures. The development trend of the different parameters compared to the previous month offers a comparative analysis and the green, yellow, or red bars make problematic parameters directly recognizable. By clicking the Save button confirms the settings of the dashboard. The Reproduction widget displays various fertility indicators, such as the insemination index. In this example, the insemination index for heifers is 1.1 inseminations on average. This widget can be filtered by BARM groups. The widget Last Dairy Robot Milking Session shows an overview of yesterday's and today's milking visits and milk yield. The milking group can be selected for this overview. The two widgets Performance Stall Unit and performance stalls offer an overview of the milking performance and process data of the individual robots as well as the average total performance, oriented by milking box and oriented by farm. Using the mouse over function, further detailed parameters per robot, such as the average milk visit duration per cow and the average attachment time per milking occur. In the widget performance stalls, various detailed parameters are described. Individual milk yield parameters are compared at different points in time. The widget Milk Yield displays the average daily milk yield per cow and its development for the reference parameter of all cows for the first, second, and further lactations. 
Using the mouse over function, the seven day average for the respective lactations can be read for a selected period. In this example, the seven day average for the entire herd is 34.18 kilograms of milk. The widget stall units shows a performance overview at milking box level. To call up details of an individual milking box, the corresponding milking box has to be selected. Parameters for the areas milking performance, visit behavior, attached performance, and problematic milkings are displayed. Through the already mentioned setting and arrangement options per widget, the dashboard can be set up and displayed individually according to the daily routines and workflows at the farm. This is the end of this video tutorial. For any further questions, please contact your local dealer.